There you go. Ah, oh, that's a fat walleye. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. Good work, buddy. Fishing the Midwest is presented by Bennington Pontoon Boats, driven by excellence. Strike King, tie one on. And lose, feel the difference. Hi, welcome to Fishing the Midwest. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Mike Frisch, and today I'm at Hannay's Marine here in Minneapolis. Hanes is one of my favorite spots anytime I'm in the metro. They've got a great selection of boats, super parts department, and their service is second to none. On today's episode, we're going to rejoin a really good friend of ours, the anchovy kid, Lincoln Hoaglick. We're going to troll for some walleyes, and then we're going to put a whooping on some largemouth bass. After that, we'll have a Larry's lesson. We'll focus on ways that you can catch panfish through the ice this winter. But first, Let's get on the water with the anchovy kid. Today we're fishing with Lincoln Hoagland, the anchovy kid. Lincoln has become a friend of fishing the Midwest. He actually was the winner of the School of Fish drawing several years ago. We have so much fun fishing with Lincoln that we have him back every year. Today's the day. Lincoln and I, we're gonna go see if we can catch some walleyes and maybe a giant northern pike. I'm going to get the net ready too, Link, because I've seen you fish. You're pretty good at it, so I think we're going to need this pretty shortly. We're going to use a pontoon for the first time, and I'm going to be the first one to catch a fish in it. You ready to pick a bait, Link? Yep. All right, what are you going to pick? The one that looks most like an anchovy. An anchovy? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that one looks good. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose this one. This one? So we're going to nickname this bait anchovy. Okay. All right. And this one, I'm going to use Dalmatian. So the cool thing is Lincoln's such a good young man that he's very thoughtful, kind, considered. He shows up today. He's made me a picture. He and I fishing for Larry the Largemouth and he's got the Fishing the Midwest logo drawn on the other side as well. Pretty cool stuff. So we finally get bit. This is a walleye. I can just tell by the bend of the rod. Okay. Lincoln's reeling it in. I'm grabbing the net. It's going to happen. Oh, it's a walleye. Yes. Yes. Keep the coming. first fish. Oh. What? The fish gets off right at the boat. <sighs> it's heartbreak. Lincoln's first ever walleye. Can you believe that? The cool thing about that is, is Lincoln learned a lesson. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. The agony of defeat. Come on, flag. This guy's kind of pulling. It takes Lincoln just a couple minutes. He shakes off the bad luck. He's back in the game. We get another bite. It seems like it's a walleye. Yes! Here we go. It is a walleye. Lincoln's got his first ever walleye. Good job, Link. Not a real big one, about a pound, a pound and a quarter. I think it's a 14 incher. Lincoln says it's bigger than that. I tell him, Lincoln, if it's bigger than 14 inches, I'll buy you a Dairy Queen. Oh, he's 14 and 3 quarters. I owe you a dairy clean. Yes. That's a pretty good deal. Yes. Should you put him in there? Yeah. Try him up for lunch. Thing. There you go. Oh, nice. So Lincoln's here more than just fishing. He's on a family vacation, and that's what it's all about. And Lincoln's going tubing tonight. So the fish weren't that cooperative today, but we made a plan. Tomorrow, we're going to chase bass. And you know what Lincoln told me? I like fishing bass, and I know I'll catch some of those. Fishing the Midwest will be right back. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by beautiful Cabotogama Lake, gateway to Voyagers National Park, Hannay's Marine. There are 10,000 lakes in Minnesota, but only one Hannay's Marine. 
and Minn Kota, Talon, and Humminbird. Simply, clearly better. When you go out skipping, trying to learn, it's not about catching fish. Will it help you catch fish? Yes. Will it help you catch more and bigger fish? Yes. But there's something about when you go out and try to learn and you get the right equipment and, and you skip, slam out of sight, and you can't see it, you feel like you won. Whether you caught one or not, skipping downright makes you feel good when you skip a bait, slam out of sight. With the attention to detail to help you get the most out of your fishing time while still offering the comfort and fit and finish you need for family cruising, Bennington offers you the best of both worlds with its category leading pontoons. Well, let's see what she goes here. Bennington, driven by excellence. Alexandria, Minnesota is a multi-season, multi-species fishing hotspot with more than 300 lakes to fish, world-renowned bass fishing, booming walleye populations, and top panfish and musky opportunities make Alexandria an angler's dream destination. Plus, Alexandria has a vibrant downtown, great golf courses, miles of ski, snowmobile, and bike trails, and fantastic dining and lodging options. If you're looking for great fishing and family fun, consider Alexandria, Minnesota for your next vacation. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle, your leader in trolling technology. Let's get the anchovies out. Good idea. Here's what we're going to do, Lincoln. This little worm is called a Ned Cutter Worm. See, it's got that little tail on it. We're going to thread that little cutter worm up that jig head and now when you cast this out the weight of the jig is going to pull it down and this little tail is going to flap side to side and the bass are going to think it's an injured minnow and they're going to come up and go today's day two of Lincoln and I going fishing now yesterday we were trying to get some walleyes trying to get a big northern pike we got a walleye we lost a walleye we didn't get a pike it wasn't as good a day today. I said, Link, let's go bass fishing. He likes bass fishing. He's really good at it. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Yeah. We got him. Link, and we got him. High five. That, there we taught him. Look at that one. That is a big dog, too. Nice. Look at there. Woo. I like how they fight, and you get a... You get to reel it in. Look at there, Lincoln. He is what? 17 inches. Let's keep him down. Oh, look, at this. look at this. Yes! Woohoo! Lincoln, this might be bigger than your last one. What? Wait till you see this guy. Ah, look how fat he is. Whoa. Whoa. Good job. You are putting it on him. He's 17. Is that a touching? Yep. Yeah, that's touching. 17 and a smidgen. See, there's 17 right there. That's a good one, Link. That's uh, even bigger, I think. Yeah, it is bigger. Yeah. We'll get some pictures of those guys later, and then we'll put them back in the lake. How's that sound? Yeah. They're pretty nice, aren't they? Another thing that we're doing today is we're using Strike King's new high biz braid line. I really like that with kids because they can see the line. When that line starts to move off to the side, they know they have a fish. They know it's time to set the hook. They know it's time to battle that fish. Nice. Got Good him? job, Link. Nice. What is he? Large mouth. Large mouth, huh? Mm-hmm.
Bass and kids go hand in hand because they fight hard, they pull hard. Lincoln's grunting and groaning, he's having a battle with these fish. They bite aggressively, they're fun to catch, they're just an all around good time. Okay, see it's shallow here and it drops off. Lincoln and I are fishing weedy structure for these bass and our sonar unit is helping us find productive spots. Let's take a quick break and see how our mega 360 imaging helps us in situations like today in today's hummingbird hint. Hey, there's a pretty good bass. Let's get this guy back and I want to show you something that helped us catch this. We're fishing a deep weed line and one of the great things about the mega 360 imaging is I can actually look out ahead of the boat and I can see those little points and those little bends in those weed lines. Those little pockets hold a lot of fish like that one we just caught. Let's take a quick look. We just caught that last fish kind of casting to this little corner before that point. As you can see that mega 360 really helps us when fishing a deep weed line for largemouth. And after a couple of bass, I tell Lincoln, I said, Lincoln, I got a secret spot. It's my daughter Hannah's secret spot. And I said, I'll take you there if you promise not to tell anybody. Lincoln promised me. We went to the secret spot. Here's what happened. You have to go back. You have to hold it. Yep. And then you swing. And then when you, you let go, Look at that. when you hit it. So that's the secret to the cast. Yes. Good job, Link. And look what you did. Huh. Hey, Link, what do you think of my secret spot? It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know what? I got something. That was unexpected. Little guy, get him in here. Ah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And that's inside out, though. That's OK. We got him. My secret of my success for today was a secret. Ah, good job, Is that Link. a catfish? No, that's a bass. Here, hold, hold the mat. I got a fish, too. Let's get a double. Got it? Yep. You got it all? Yep. Mine got off. Darn it. <laughs> good job, Link. Thanks. <laughs> Remember, Link, during School of Fish way back when? What were you, like a second grader? Yep. What, what do we talk about bass? Where do bass like to live? Bass like to live in the weeds. Yep. And the rocks. Weeds and the rocks. Largemouth really like weeds because that's where their food lives. Yep. And they can hide from big predators. We're using this new Bennington pontoon. Lincoln said today, he said, Mike, he said, this pontoon is really cool. It's really comfortable. It's big, it's spacious, we can move around. Here's another thing. We put some fish in the live well. Now we're gonna let them go, but we put some fish in the live well, we name them. Kids have a lot of fun with fish in the live well. If the bite's not real good, you put some in the live well, they're still gonna have some fun. So don't be afraid of that. Give me like my last test. Yeah! Look at that one. That might be the biggest one of the day, Lincoln. <laughs> Last one's the biggest one. Last one's... Look at that guy. Jeez, Ooh. he's at least... Ah. 18 and a quarter. Do you think he's 18 and a quarter? I think he's another one. Look at... Just how you hooked all those. One, I think he's 16 and a half, actually. Think so? 16 and a half. 17 and an eighth. Look at that, Link. 18 inches and a... Midget. Should we end on that one? Yep. Good work, buddy. I always say it at the end of my fishing articles and TV segments, include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure. I've been fortunate. The sport of fishing has enriched my life. I've met some great people. Now I want to give back. Lincoln's a great kid. He and I have fun when we go fishing. We're going to do it again. We'll have more great fishing action after this brief break. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by Alexandria, Minnesota, the Alexandria Lakes area, Minnesota's hidden gem with 350 lakes conveniently located in the heart of Minnesota. Diamond Buick GMC, experience the diamond difference. And Aqua Traction Marine Flooring, toughness has a soft side. 
Lake Capitogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available in many of the full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class, and so are all of the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends, and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Lake Capitogama in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Hannay's Marine has a huge selection of boats, pontoons, and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced team will help you select from industry-leading boat manufacturers, including G3, Basscat, Stingray, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Crest and Suncatcher. Don't get left on the shore. Shop Hannay's to experience more. Visit www.hannaysmarine.com today. Your boat, your memories, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Here at Diamond Buick GMC of Alexandria, we have a simple goal for your new or used vehicle buying experience. Customer satisfaction. Our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff will work with you in a no-pressure, hassle-free environment. We also have an accommodating service department that will work hard after the sale to guarantee your continued satisfaction. Family-owned and serving Alexandria and all of West Central Minnesota for over 25 years. Visit us in Alexandria at Diamond Buick GMC and experience the diamond difference. Distinctive Cabinet Design manufactures commercial millwork, retail fixtures, and residential cabinetry. Serving the homeowner on up through the general contractor, there's no job too small or too large. Whether it's custom kitchens for the homeowner or retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more, Distinctive Cabinet Design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Today we're out looking for bluegills and crappies in particular. We're going to start middle of the day, we're going to fish all the way into evening. And what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to find a bite of some good gills. We'd like some of those 9, 10 inch gills and some of those crappies that are 12 inches and bigger. It's going to require some moving. Let's see what happens. That one. The thing I like about bluegills, spring, summer, fall, winter, it don't matter. When you hook a bluegill, ounce for ounce, they give you as good a fight as any fish that swims in, our, in the Midwest. So during the middle of the winter, one of the peak ice fishing bites that goes on is a basin bite for bluegills and crappies that are roaming on soft bottom, sometimes adjacent to structure, but a lot of times out away from structure, and feeding on the various insects, small worms, larvae, whatever that's hatching off the bottom. So what we gotta do is we gotta stand the move and try to find these fish. See if they're any bigger here. Crappy. Wonder if that's what all these are. Moving, moving, moving is really important. We start out, we're fishing out of our clam portables, we're drilling holes, we're looking for fish on the sonar, and then trying to catch some to see what size they are. This one feels. This one feels. This one feels like a better fish. Another crappy though. Again, the whole key to this bite and this pattern is you have to find some fish. Using your Vexlar is really important to find fish, but then also to identify what level in the water column they are. That one wanted it. He knocked it straight up, knocked slack in the line. <laughs> a 
what do we got here now? Crappie. That's a better crappie. Well, I keep saying that, but I feel, I feel uh, that this is a 10. But I've been wrong before. Tail is touching. Oh yeah, look at there, 10 and a half probably. There's a lot of different ways to catch panfish in the winter. I kind of rely on two things. I'll use small jigging spoons. I like a pinhead minnow jigging spoon. That fishes quickly. It targets some of the bigger fish. We'll also go to tungsten to try to trigger bites, particularly from bluegill. So it's kind of a one-two punch. Tungsten and a small jigging spoon. As daylight starts to give way to nightfall, what we like to do is we like to kind of hunker down in an area. We try to identify a high percentage area, lots of fish around, and then kind of set up for the evening bite. Now, we're with ice guide Elliot Richards. And he's actually using this as a scouting day. We want to find a spot for a permanent house. How are you doing? It's a little cold out there. Uh, getting there, getting we're there. Right to those witching hours now, like you were talking about. So, yep. That one came up a ways. That then. flew up off the bottom. Mm, uh, Elliot, you got one too. I think so. Ooh. You gonna get the deucer right here? I'm gonna lose the fish for you. Oh, so, where's he at? Look at that guy. Got him. That is there the one we're after. That, uh, I'll put mine back. <laughs> Elliot, let's, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good crappie, isn't it? Absolutely. Let's that's, see what that's this That's the one we're here for. Let's see what this one goes. So this one is 13 with his mouth closed, 13 and just about and a half. That's a good crappie. And Let's get this girl back. We want her to swim away. Fishing the Midwest is made possible by distinctive cabinet design for all your commercial, residential, and retail fixture cabinetry needs. Vexilar, own the ice with Vexilar. K-drill ice augers, drilling ice will never be the same. And Big Stone Lake Tourism, Minnesota's hottest perch lake. When you go out skipping, trying to learn, it's not about catching fish. Will it help you catch fish? Yes. Will it help you catch more and bigger fish? Yes. But there's something about when you go out and try to learn and you get the right equipment and, and you skip, slam out of sight, and you can't see it, you feel like you won. Whether you caught one or not, skipping downright makes you feel good when you skip a bait, slam out of sight. With the attention to detail to help you get the most out of your fishing time while still offering the comfort and fit and finish you need for family cruising, Bennington offers you the best of both worlds with its category leading pontoons. Well, let's see what she goes here. Bennington, driven by excellence. Are you tired of using that heavy gas auger or sweating as you're cranking on that old hand auger? Check out this new revolutionary product. It's called the K-Drill. The K-Drill is made right here in the USA and the entire setup weighs right around nine pounds. This is the only auger designed specifically for a cordless brushless drill. The K-Drill has a heavy duty aluminum shaft and is the only auger with a set of tool steel sharpened chipper blades. And the K-Drill blades have lifetime sharpening. Find out more at kdrillauger.com. Lake Capitogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available in many of the full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class and so are all of the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Lake Capitogama in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Attention, ice anglers. If you or a loved one have suffered from catching complications, looming boredom, or overwhelming humiliation among your peers, call the Vexlar Group today. If you fish blind like a frozen zombie, 
you may be eligible to catch fish this year. If you've ever found yourself saying, you know, it's just nice to be out, you may be a struggling angler and we know you're hurting. Please help stop this angling epidemic today by visiting www.bexlar.com. My name is Sam Sobey and I approve this message. <laughs>